This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Chromebook 15 CB3-532, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on the Acer Chromebook CB3-532. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is identify what this part number is. There are several versions of the Chromebook 15. This procedure in particular is for the CB3-532. It's on the palm rest and also it's on the bottom of the laptop, CB3-532. All right, the second thing is we want to make sure that the laptop is off. With Chromebooks, when you close and open the Chromebook, uh, the laptop automatically turns on. In this particular case, it doesn't because it hasn't been started yet, but usually it turns on. And if it does turn on, you want to long press or you want to press the power button to make sure that the laptop is off. Next, we're going to go through the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. A smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver. A hobby knife or X-Acto knife. And that's to lift up adhesive tape. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. And a spudger tool to pry things open. So we're not going to use all the tools for this laptop, but it's good to have them just in case. The first thing we want to do is snap the screen bezel off. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And the way we do that is put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and lift upward and outward. This one is fairly easily, easy. There's no adhesive to slow us down. And we go around the screen assembly like so and snap the screen bezel off. And we keep going around and let me turn off my phone like so. And we'll keep going around and there's one more place that's a little bit tight and it came off. Okay, right away, this is a brand new laptop and right away I see that there's a manufacturing defect. This, um, this plastic, uh, uh, this metal bracket has a screw holder missing. So um, this is gonna go back, but that's still gonna, we can still work out. We can still replace the screen. All right, so, and let's take that off and let's keep moving. So what we want to do to remove the screen from the screen assembly is to remove the two screws at the top and then the two screws at the bottom. So let's start with the top. We use our PH1 electronics screwdriver. Lift, remove first one and then second one. And when we do this, we want to have the screen assembly tilted back. And we go around the screen assembly like so and remove all four screws. Once we do that, we grab the screen by the metal tabs and lay it down on top of the keyboard assembly, being careful not to touch the power button so as not to turn the laptop on. Next thing is we want to use our hobby knife or X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape. And once we get it going, we can use our fingertips to remove it. And then, with grabbing with our fingertips, pull the connector back like so. I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. When you connect it, slide it back in, like so. You'll feel, but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. All right, now let's take a look at this screen. Uh, this is a 15.6 inch EDP screen with a matte finish. Sometimes these screens come with a glossy finish, so if you have a strong preference on one or the other, please specify that when ordering. The part number of this particular screen is B156XTN07.1. 
uh, most likely when you do get your screen in you have a different part number because there's uh, quite a few different compatible versions of the screen from several manufacturers but the mounting tabs and the connector should be in the same place this particular screen is a WXGA resolution 1366 by 768 this model also has a full HD version and that's 1920 by 1080 resolution and the screen part number will be different the procedure will be exactly the same and they're interchangeable you just gotta know which uh, resolution of the screen that you're ordering okay uh, you can order this screen from us from screen surgeons and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that we used in this video comes for free with the screen to help you take the screen out we have a two-year warranty on our screens and free email technical support and free shipping in the United States. If you live outside the United States when ordering, specify the country you live in and we can ship to most countries around the world. To order from Screen Surgeons, go to our website www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out in the front page and then they'll guide you to the right screen online. Uh, these are also used in schools and school districts. We work extensively with schools and on our website there's a tab or a link at the top that says schools and then that would be a different process to guide you through. For schools we offer volume discounts and uh, we also accept purchase orders. So once you do get your screen in, uh, make sure it's um, the finish is what you want, either glossy or matte and then the mounting tabs and the connectors in the right place. Reconnect the connector like I showed you. Put the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on. And that's it. Okay, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.